Welcome back to this NPTEL course on game theory. In the previous session we introduced this cooperative games, uh, TU games in particular. In, in TU games towards the end of the session we introduced the idea of imputation. So let us recall the idea of imputation. An imputation is an allocation of uh, payoffs to the individuals in such a way that the allocation to every player should be at least bigger than V of i his worth if he is individual. So that is known as a individual rationality. So let me write x is an allocation. So the first thing is that this x i should be greater than or equal to V of i. This is individual rational. The second uh, condition is that the sum of all the allocations should be the total worth. This is collectively rational. So these two if satisfied then you call it as x satisfying above is imputation. Okay. So, once uh, we define this imputation another uh, notation here an imputation x is said to dominate an imputation y if there exists a correlation C such that summation i x i i and c is less than or equal to v c and x i is bigger than y i for all i in c. Okay. So, for some correlation x i is better to y i and satisfying this uh, summation of xi should be always less than equal to vc. Okay. Now there are a few points I would like to mention here is that uh, an imputation need not dominate other imputation. An imputation need not dominate another. So for example in the majority game the dividing the dollar game in the majority if two of them choose same thing if you look at that game then x is equals to 150, 150 is 0 is one imputation y is another imputation where 150, 150 you can see that no x does not dominate y vice versa. So that is one point. The, the other uh, point is that the relation of domination is not transitive. Okay. If x dominates y, y dominates z, x need not dominate z. So, uh, the, the example for this is that in the same game let us say take 0, 180, 120 this dominates imputation 150. 150 0 okay. and then 150 150 0 dominates 90 0 to 10. Okay. So, in fact 90 0 to 10 dominates 0, 180, 120. So, that means you have a cycle now here, cycle with domination thing. So, 
in fact here uh, your task is to find which, uh, which correlation is giving this one. So, it is not very difficult to see this one. In fact, what you can say that it is possible that every imputation is dominated by some other imputation We can actually construct an example where every imputation is dominated by some other imputation. I will leave it for you as an exercise to construct such an example. Okay. So, now that uh, we have uh, recalled the definition of imputation and all, now we will go, go to introduce what is called the core. So, let us, so we start with a TU game. game in characteristic form n v n is the set num, is the set of players and v is the worth of correlations okay the core so what we would like to call is core is basically is the set of all imputations which are correlationally rational. Okay. What it means is the following thing. So, let me write it core n v is set of all x in R n such that first thing is sigma x i is v n this is the collectively rational then we need to uh, instead of writing the x i grad then why what I will put it summation x i i in c is always bigger than v c this is true for every subset c of n. So, this condition is known as a correlationally rational suppose if c is the correlation the total work they are getting is summation x i i in c. This should be bigger than or equals to v of c. Then this is true for every c then you call this as a correlationary rational. Recall if c is singletons this is nothing but individually rational. So, the, that is the core is nothing but all the imputations which are correlationally rational. So, now let us start making some consequences of this definition. So, let us start looking at it. Okay. So, first I would like to put a correlation C can improve on an allocation x that is x1, x2, xn in Rn if v of c is bigger than summation x i i in c. Suppose v of c is bigger than uh, summation x i then this correlation c can improve this x. So, the total worth is bigger than this individually this thing. So, that is not this implies c can improve on x. C can improve on X if there exists some allocation Y such that Y is feasible for C and the players in C get strictly higher payoff. Okay. So, C can improve on x that means there, uh, there must be some allocation y 
y is feasible in for all for the c and the players in c will get higher payoff in y than x that is what I mean by when you say that c can improve. Okay. So, we can al we also say that the, the coalition c blocks x. Okay. So, uh, the same condition we can also say that because uh, c is better for the the, C, the correlation C is uh, can improve on this allocation X, C can improve on X means C is actually blocking this X. So, in fact, uh, what we can say that an allocation X is said to be in core, core of NV if and only if x is feasible for n and no coalition can improve can improve upon it. So, this is all this is straightforward from the definition if there is something in if some coalition is improving it then that is blocking it. So, such a thing is not possible for a core. Okay. So, therefore, uh, what we the core is essentially to recall it core means x is in core means summation x i i in n this should be v n and summation x i i in c this should be bigger than v c this is true for every subset c n. So, now we start looking at some examples. Okay, before uh, going for the example first would, I would like to say that suppose if x is not in core that means there is some coalition C such that the players in C would all strictly do better in some other allocation. So, that is uh, what uh, it says. Okay. So, now let us look at the examples. Let us look at the divide the dollar game. Okay. So, here the, the core is given by set of all x1, x2, x3 in R3 such that x1 plus x2 plus x3 this should be 300 then x1 greater than or equal to 0, x2 greater than or equal to 0, x3 greater than or equal to 0. Okay. So, this is going to be the core for the versions 1. Okay. All 3 should agree. So, the core is going to be exactly this particular set. Okay. In fact, the, the core turns out to be infinite set here. Okay. So, the core is treating all the 3 players symmetrically that is also another important thing. Okay, in version 2, the core is going to be set of all x1, x2, x3 in R3 such so that x1 plus x2 is 300 and then x1 greater than equals to 0, x2 greater than equals to 0 and then x3 is equals to 0 because the first two players are whatever they decide that is going to be the the solution mechanism. So, therefore, x1 plus x2 they share the entire 300 and the third player gets 0 that is exactly the core for the second version. Okay. In the version 3, in fact core I will give it as an exercise for people to look at it is going to be exactly 300 0 0. Okay. So, we can try the other versions of the divide and call this I will leave it as an exercise. Okay. There is a single 10 core. Now, another example. So, we will consider n to be 
1, 2, 3, there are 3 players, then V1 is equals to V2 equals to V3, 0, then V12 is 0 0.25, V13 is 0 0.5, V23 is 0 0.75, V123 is 1. Okay. So, this is a game, let us recall core means what? X is in core NV if and only if first is X1, X2, X3 they should be greater than equal to 0 then X1 plus X2 should be bigger than 0 0.25, X1 plus X3 should be bigger than 0 0.5 x2 plus x3 should be bigger than 0 0.75 then x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equals to 1. So, this is the individually rational these are the correlationally rational with 2 with 3 when 3 is there then this should be 1. Okay. So, if we calculate x1 plus x2 greater than equals to 0 0.25 x1 plus x3 all these things if you put it. So, we can actually say is that x1 has to be less than or equals to 0 0.25, x2 has to be less than or equals to 0 0.5, x3 less than or equals to 0 0.75. So, that comes from x1 plus x2 plus x3 is 1, therefore x1 plus x2 is nothing but 1 minus x3. So, 0.25 this side and minus x3 the other side, therefore x3 has to be less than or equals to 0.75. Similarly, these inequalities. So, and then uh, x we know x1 less than equals to this, x2 less than, one, and then now you we can completely pictureize the core. Okay. In fact, uh, we can write down uh, the core as a following thing. It, it actually something like this. Okay. draw here. So, this is going to be the x1 is equals to 0.25, this is nothing but x2 is equals to 0 0.5, this, this is nothing but x3 is equals to 0 0.75. Now, this point is 0 0.25, 0, 0.5. 0.75 and this is nothing but 0 0.25, 0 0.5. So, in fact, this is going to be the core. In fact, we can write down all the points, it will be this thing because if we write down the equations on all see that this particular shape is the this thing. Okay. So, so, we can actually calculate the core like here. So, now let us look at another example. So, this is from the classical book of von Neumann and Morgenstern. So, here player 1 has a house which she values say rupees 1 million and wishes to sell. Okay. There are two potential buyers. player 2 and 3. Okay. So, we have a value, the valuation is rupees 2 million and also have two million each. 
So, they value this at uh, rupees 2 million and also they have 2 million each. Suppose player 1 sells to player 2 at P where 1 less than equals to P less than equals to 2. The utility of player 1 is SP utility of player 2 is going to be 2 minus P plus 2. This is going to be 4 minus P is his uh, utility and then the player uh, 3's utility is because he still has only 2 million. So, therefore, his utility is just 2. So, So, a similar uh, thing for if player 1 sells to player 3. Okay. So, this becomes a if player 1 sells to player 3 again the same kind of thing. So, in that once we what we have got is the following thing V of 1 is 1, V of 2 is 2, V of 3 is so, individually they have uh, the houses player 1 is valuing at 1 million and the player 2 and player 3 have 2 million each with them. So, that is this thing and V of 1 2 if player 1 sells to this thing or if player 1 sells to 3 or player 2 and 3 together then the valuation is going to be 4. And V 1 2 3 is going to be 6. Okay. So, this is going to be the characteristic form of this game and so x is in core if and only if the following thing happens x 1 greater than equals to 1, x 2 greater than equals to 2, x 3 greater than equals to 2, then x 1 plus x 2 should be greater than equals to 4, x 2 plus x 3 greater than equals to 4 x 1 plus x 3 greater than equals to 4, then x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 is 6. In fact, you can say that the only thing which satisfies all these things is 2, 2, 2, this is in the core, core is a singleton here. Okay. In fact, there is another very famous example, very commonly mentioned example is called globe market. So, so, this is a simple case there are 5 suppliers of of gloves there are 5 suppliers of gloves. So, of this first 2 can each supply 1 left go and the other 3 can supply 1 right glow each. Okay. So, the one supplying NL is let us assume the first two players 1 and 2 the right glove is supplied by let us say 3, 4, 5. Okay. The worth of each coalition is the number of matched pairs that it can assemble. Okay. So, what it means is that suppose if C is equals to 1 and 3, the worth of this C is going to be 1 because they can combine the left and right glove and then therefore they matched one pair. So, okay, that is a, this thing. Now, if C is equals to 3, 4, 
then V of C is 0. Okay. So, in fact uh, in general we can say that V of C is going to be minimum of mod C intersection N L comma mod C intersection N R the number of uh, intersections of C with N L and intersections with N R and then take the minimum of those two that is going to be V C this is true for any subset of N. Okay. So, the core and actually you can verify that this thing. Okay. So, this is a example in fact we can look at uh, multiple situations here suppose uh, if I take N L to be 1, 2, 3, N R to be 4, 5. So, again the core is going to be again single turn. So, for example, if I take N L to be 1, 2, N R to be 3, 4, if we take it only 4 players if you take it and the cardinality of the this thing let us say in fact the core is going to be half, 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 half again single term. Okay. In fact, uh, let uh, you can actually start working with variety of situations here itself. So, let us take uh, there are n is equals to take this much and of this this many players supply one left go each others supply one right glow each. The core is basically x i is equals to 1 if i is in n l 0 if i is in n r. So, we can verify that this is again has a unique this thing. Okay. So, there are uh, many such examples we can construct the core is a very important concept in this set of games. We will conclude this session with this and we will continue in the next session. Thank you.